Hi, today I'm going to introduce how to inoculate an E. coli cell culture for protein purification. First, we will remove the bacterial solution from an overnight growth. You can see here that the two solutions are completely saturated. This means that the bacteria has grown to its limit in these solutions. Next, you have to inoculate a flask of LB media. Here's 500 ml of LB. Your overnight cultures and a tube of ampicillin to make sure only your bacteria will grow. For all aseptic techniques involving bacteria, you should light a Bunsen burner to reduce the amount of contamination. The flames will drive away any airborne bacteria that are present. Next, you will add the ampicillin. For every 500 milliliters of bacterial culture, you will want to add 500 microliters of ampicillin. Now, you will add your overnight bacterial culture into your LB medium to grow your cells. Generally, for 500 ml of culture, you'd want to add over 5 ml of overnight culture. However, in this case, I'm adding 10 ml. The more culture you add, the faster your bacteria will grow. After you're finished, always turn off the Bunsen burner, and also be sure to discard the bacterial tubes into biohazardous waste. Next, you will place your bacterial culture into an incubator. In the incubator, the bacteria culture will reach 37 degrees Celsius. The incubator will also shake the solution to induce bacterial growth. First, power on the incubator. Next, turn on the shaker. Make sure that the temperature for set is 37 degrees Celsius. You can see here the motion that the incubator places on the flask, shaking the solution and increasing the bacterial growth. Once your bacteria has been growing for one or two hours, you can check if it's ready. Take out two samples. You can see the sample on the right in the cuvette has bacteria, and the one on the left is what we call the blank, which has no bacteria and just consists of LB media. First, you want to measure the blank to set a baseline. For this, you need a spectrophotometer set at 595 nanometers. Insert the blank and press the blank button and wait for the spectrometer to read the blank. After it's read the baseline, take out the blank and now place the sample in the cubette with the bacterial culture. You can see here that it is cloudier than the blank, meaning that your bacteria has indeed grown. Now press sample and wait for the machine to read the sample. You can see here that the absorbance is 0.5, which is perfect for what we need. You can see that the solution is completely cloudy and opaque. This means that the bacteria has grown to a sufficient level. The next step in this process is to make the bacteria produce the protein that we want. This is a process called induction. For this, we need to add ITPG. What ITPG does is make the bacterial cells produce the protein that we want in large quantities. The amount of ITPG we add to the bacterial solution is similar to the amount of ampicillin that we would add. For 500 milliliters of bacteria culture, we want to add 500 microliters of ITPG. Addition of the ITPG can be shown here. You will add it straight into the bacterial culture. After addition of the ITPG, stir it to mix the ITPG. 
And now we will want to place it again in the incubator. This time we will want to place it in a 15 degree incubator, shaking overnight. The 15 degrees prevents the protein from forming inclusion bodies, which will result in unobtainable protein. 